hi there guys welcome or welcome back um today's video or this video is gonna be a car tour we're gonna go do the car tour so yeah okay so for one i have a ford and don't make fun of me because I know I don't really like Fords, but it was the only car I can really get with my credit score and whatnot. But I'm actually really excited that I got this car because it's like the best thing, really honestly, to me. But I got a Ford Fusion and it's 2020 Ford Fusion SE. But this is what my baby looks like. She's white with black exterior. I'm gonna get the front view ever. And then I'm gonna get the side view ever. Cause I haven't named her and I don't think I'm going to name her, to be honest. All right, we're gonna go inside the car. And then this is what the car key fob looks like. So we're gonna go inside the car. This is what the inside of the door looks like. I have had it for going on two weeks now, so that's why it looks dirty on the inside. But there is a little breeze out here. So this is what the back looks like. I have my son's car seat in here. I do have a window scraper and my umbrella right there. And I do have a charger in here already for my son's phone. But this is what the car looks like. And then this just pushes in. And I don't like that this does not lock. But I do like the fact that it has that. And I don't have to fiddle with a, um, a, uh, whatever the hell that is thing. But we're gonna get in the car and we're gonna turn it on. I'm gonna show y'all. As you can see, I just stick my keys. I stick my keys right there most times. And I did get a, a key. Um, I can't get a key, uh, an engine start um, little ring. But we're gonna start the car. So. I'm sorry about that. I did my phone does connect to my um, radio here, but it's gonna tell me to shut my door. It's telling me to shut my door. But this is the car. I don't necessarily know what that. I don't necessarily know what that means, but that tells me whether I'm in the lane, and that's my gas, and then my park reverse neutral drive and. Um, sport mode which this car has a sport mode and I didn't know that and then I can control every I can call somebody off my phone on the steering wheel as you can see I am monitoring my steering wheel now though okay yeah I was gonna say I don't know how to get but yeah this is what the steering wheel looks like this is my pink fluffy um, steering wheel cover that I got from Burlington that I had in my Mazda. My cruise control and stuff is set right here. My answer, hang up, voice text, and volume buttons are right here. Um, this is my radio and my ability to connect to my phone. This is all my AC controls. Um, I have heated seats. And why not? I have my button for all the lights to come on. I have a button for that light, a button for that light. And then I have no idea what that is. Oh, that button is when the lights, the lights turn on when the doors open. Oh, and I got, oh shit, handles, hand, 
ocean handlebars, as people would call them. Um, and I do have a sunroof that I can ajar back if I want it open. And if I don't want it open and I just want to ajar it, I can do that. And then close it. And then this pulls forward to shut. But yeah, and I have cup I have oops sorry, I have cup holders right there. But yeah, this is my car. It's twenty and I did buy some little things here to make my car smell better. I do have some change right here in this little jar thing and a dongle. I do have my emergency little kit bag here that has actually some band-aids in that. Um, that has um, some gauze pads. Uh, okay, I'm gonna set y'all up actually. Take y'all out the tripod because I have y'all on a tripod. But I'm gonna show y'all. I have two straws that came from Starbucks, really. Starbucks in, I guess, somewhere. I have that in here in my glove department or in my um, console. I have magnetics and pop socket thingies up in here, and I have this little thing. I can go on my vent. But this little emergency kit bag is uh, got a gauze sponge in it. Hunt the honey pot um aloe wipes. I have some hair bows just in case I need them. Some headphones just in case um my airpods are dead. And like I said, I did buy some like diamond studded in uh engine start button covers or things so I just stuck the it came in a pack of three so I just stuck the other two in there or in this bag um it's not like a girly it's not like a girly emergency kit because the girl stuff that I have that's in my car like I do have it in my car I have it in my glove department um in my glove department, I do have a first aid kit here. It's got lip balm, triple antibiotic, first aid cream, first aid and burn cream, some kind of other cream. I have one in my purse too. It has hand sanitizer, lip balm, triple antibiotic, and hydrochloroquine cream with some band-aids and some like alcohol rubbing things. I have that. I'm probably just going to throw this off in my glove in here and put it in this um, emergency kit thing in my car. But um, in my glove department, besides that, I do have my pepper spray. I think I'm just going to put it in my console as well. I may just throw it off in my console as well. I also may end up putting it somewhere right here. So, I had that in there. I have my registration that I got from the dealership. I have my insurance card that I got from my, um, my, uh, insurance. Um, I do have a purple and a pink, um, dab ink for bingo. Because me and a coworker went to bingo together and I bought those they're like a dollar a piece I have this bag and I have these three um, for when I'm on my time of the month um, I'm thinking about putting that bag off in there again and put these three off in this um, emergency bag just in case I need them so um, we're gonna move on that was everything that was in my glove department and I did put them like in other spots like I said so stuff that I did put in other spots came out of my glove department I do have this thing that is plugged in to my car 
I do not use it. But I don't know why I don't. I don't know why I have it plugged in if I don't use it. I'm going to unplug it and like move it. I may just end up putting it in my glove compartment here. I mean my um, console here to keep it. Cause I do, I do like to keep it just in case I go on, we go on long travels. But I do have a charger. But I'm gonna show y'all everything that's down in this center console or the center thing underneath my radio. Ooh, the heat from y'all. Okay, so I have my insurance um, little doohickey in here. I do have a, another car charger thingy and a pen there. I do have little notes that my son wrote me that was in my Mazda. And I kept them. This is a receipt, I believe. I believe this is a receipt. Yeah, that's a receipt. I do have my DoorDash face mask. And I do have my 2015 um, car thingy. And I do have another like little doohickey thing down there that has two more USB, USB ports and a Type-C port. But my car did come with two USB, po USB ports already. So I just have all that in there. I don't know why I have that receipt. These were in my door but I had to take them out of my door because they, they were trying to fly out the other day. And then, like I said, I moved some things to a different spot. So, I did move my um, pepper spray in there. But, I do have this little thing that I just put on today. It's um, stuck to my car. It's a little cow with, in a bucket. It has a heart on it. So, yeah. This is my car. I love it. Now, we're going to go look in the trunk. Okay, so I don't necessarily want to show my license plate number. So this is my trunk. It is pretty spacious. Like, it's pretty spacious, but I have some wipes that I need to go in the back seat in here. I have my DoorDash bag here. A jacket, just in case I get cold and I'm out and about. I have some oil. Or some antifreeze oil thingy. I have some a I have a um, filter there. I have <sighs> jumper cables and I have some other stuff over here. I do have a another car steering wheel thingy that I had before I got the um fluffy one I do have a weight waist trainer there and a little fanny pack so that is everything that is in my trunk I do have an air compressor in there as well that's back there but I don't know what this is but I'm not gonna pull it because I don't know what it does but this is my trunk it's pretty spacious so Okay, so without a further ado, that is the end. It's gonna be the end of this video. Um, I am so proud that I have a newer car. I mean, don't make fun of me because I have a Ford because I don't really care for Ford. And the girl that was, um, the girl that was helping me get into this car um doesn't like Ford either but she explained that that car is better than most Fords and whatnot so I mean I'm enjoying it I love that it's white I love that the um that it reflects some of the heat so it's not so hot in the car when I get in but like I said I was only out there for a little bit and I'm already sweating. Milo, go. But, yeah. I'm already sweating. It's hotter than a ball sack outside. 
but but uh and my camera is hot so it's probably overheating so i'm gonna stay in the house for a little bit but yeah that was the car tour um i showed you all pretty much everything that my car has to offer i have more stuff that my car has to offer that i don't even know about but i did figure out the other day when i was driving and i was by myself i think it was me and my son and i figured out like my mirrors on my sides when i go to look to see if i can get over has like this little car thing has like something in the corner of it that lets me know whether there's a car at my butt or not to where I can get oh, if I can get over or not because it will light up when there's a car beside me or at my butt and it will be it'll turn off when there's nobody beside me so I can know when I can get over or not which is great I, I love that because that allows that will allow me to swerve in and out of traffic I mean it's it's a pretty big car it's a pretty big car coming from a small Mazda but it's really not small it's not small I wanted a small car like lengthwise so I like to swear I'm running out of traffic but yeah Without any further ado, that's going to be the end of this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below for more of my poor little face. Comment down below what you would like to see in my next video. And I hope you all enjoy this car tour. Car tour. Car tour. So.